you very much. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Dave Vellante. Jose Luis Cuevas. Nice to meet and you, John Jose McCarthy. Luis Cuevas. Hi, John. Uh, pleasure. So you are a Dell Ecologic customer, I understand. Yes. yes How's that uh, going for you? Fine. I actually, uh, our one of the main operations, the mission critical, uh, is uh, running on, on our ecologics. Yeah, okay. It's working fine. So yeah. talk about your organization, your role. Why don't we start there? I'm the IT manager for the largest uh, hotel company in Latin America. We are the operator of uh, 115 hotels. 115 uh, hotels? Yes. Okay, yes. throughout South America. In Mexico and uh, mainly in South America, okay. we are, uh, the name of the company is Grupo Posadas, and uh, we are uh, operating this, this large number of hotels, properties, and also franchise, and uh, uh, we're, we're growing pretty, pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And um, my job is uh, support the operations, uh, the tech, tactical strategy for uh, data centers and uh, the standards that we have for each hotel and the corporate uh, headquarters. So okay. what's what's driving your business? Talk about the, the business guys are asking you. So it's hospitality. Hospitality, it's, the it's, service. It's service, right? Yeah, actually, we, we're a service company. Uh, we have different line of business also. Uh, but the main is hospitality. We have uh, this number of hotels, and also we have uh, loyalty programs, no? uh, vacation clubs. Uh, we also have a, a call center line of business. We attend uh, like uh, 20,000 calls per month. Per, ma per month, we have uh, 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 selling these services to other companies also. So. Uh, that's one of the uh, best companies in Mexico. So what are, they, what are they driving you to do? So it's, it's a services oriented, they want faster mm -hmm. service, they want more services. I mean, no downtime. No downtime, <laughs> right? No, we actually, uh, like uh, in our call centers, we have 24 seven, the operations. Uh, we, we cannot uh, avoid to answer a call. What are the kinds of calls that you're getting at the call centers? These are from guests, or these are from what? From guests for companies uh, uh, that make events like, like these okay. uh, from around the world. Mm -hmm. So all the, the calls uh, came in, the inbound calls came into that uh, call center. Uh, so we cannot uh, accept any downtime. It's 24-7, okay. 365. Okay, so 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 what does that mean for your infrastructure? Actually, take us back to how long you've been an Equalogic customer. We're uh, we've been uh, like three years. Three years. Ago. Okay, so yeah. take us back three years ago. What was the environment like before you brought in Equalogic? You know, give us a description. Name names if you want, or don't if you don't want. Okay. Just describe it. So. We're cool. We're yeah. the cube. We can. We can. It's an open <laughs> discussion. But hey, whatever you're comfortable doing. Yes, uh, but tell tell us what the situation was like before you, the the project, if you will. Mm -hmm. We have a, a, a big sand, uh, a couple of uh, terabytes that uh, we start to grow in fast. But the the main challenge, uh, like three years ago, was how to run faster. You know, mm -hmm. With uh, agility. <laughs> Agility, yeah. flexibility, yeah. And room faster, and the the amount of data that we were growing was exploding because of the virtualization. So the virtualization. Because of why? I'm sorry. Virtualization. Vir virtualization. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah. We have. Uh, uh, I will tell you later that about the virtualization that we have. Yeah, we'll talk about that. But we we need to grow. So uh, in that moment, we <laughs> with the other companies, uh, we cannot at all. Because uh, our, our uh, storage processors were, were at, at the most, we cannot add more storage. So they'll actually bring us with this new solution of the Equalogic, which give us the agility and give us the, the opportunity to grow faster and, and to meet the needs that we were facing in that time. What was the constraint to your growth? Uh, that particular storage could not grow anymore. It's out of storage. Uh, no, it, it cannot. Out of capacity. I, out of capacity, I mm. cannot add any more. Couldn't uh, scale. Yeah, it's okay. on the limit. 
and that's it. I, if I, I if purpose. I need to grow, I need to buy uh, two uh, two hundred thousand uh, dollars uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. yeah, and for an organization like yours, um, two hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money. It's, uh, it's a lot of money, but most of that is uh, where where uh, we we were facing challenges in the uh, go to market. So if okay. if if we cannot go to market fast with the agility that we were expecting, we need to do something else. So mm -hmm. the solution was to buy this uh, ecologic uh, arrays and keep growing, keep growing. No? So ecologic at the time was a, a little startup up, uh, up in New Hampshire. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, uh, I don't know if uh, you can ask my their reps, but uh, maybe we were the uh, one of the first companies in Mexico to have Equalogics. Okay. Mm -hmm. and did and you yeah. go up and visit them, or or, you, or did you? Go, well, you were already you were already. Uh, this was this was after the acquisition by. That's right. After oh, the was. acquisition by Dell, right? Oh, yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they Three that was in two thousand. Wow, time is just flying. Yeah, so, well, so, uh, if yeah, it, you're it right. was after yeah. that. It was yeah, after yeah, the Dell. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah. weren't nervous about the weren't, small startup right. thing. You weren't okay. worried about wor working with a small startup. You had Dell behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, yeah. When, uh, I mean, the solution that would we you have, have, would you have purchased Equalogic if if if, uh, if they weren't part of Dell? Would you have, would you have taken the risk on a small company? Yes, you would have. Yeah. Why? Because because the the because technology would have made that much of a difference. And also because these guys know how to how to sell it. And, but uh, they know their business. Mm -hmm. They know that the, the risk that they were taking, like this morning, uh, Michael Dell says, uh, it works. I mean, uh, these companies doesn't invest in in other companies unless they they have a uh, a challenge to to uh, to advance. No? Is it important to you that Michael Dell was here speaking to this audience? Yes, I think that uh, that gave us. Uh, well, you know, to know him and also a, s a certain feeling of confidence, no? Mm. That, uh, what's happening, uh, the, the first couple of minutes that he was talking about the beginning of his company, uh, uh, make a sense of, okay, we're, we're uh, in the same world, <laughs> we're, yeah. we're in the same page, <laughs> we're growing together, yeah. and even though I, I'm an end user, it, it, it showed me that uh, the, the company is, is with the client. No. And I think this conference, I, I've learned a lot of, of them. Is it's this your first time to... In the storage form? Yeah, to yes. the storage form. Okay. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. didn't go to, yeah. So, okay. So, and, and Michael, I started off by saying, you know, I sp began as a storage company, yeah. right? Making external storage for PCs. And then Mar <laughs> Marietta came in and said, hey, can you sell us that <laughs> PC that you use to format the drives? <laughs> that's, that's how he got in the that's PC what, business. That's that's his, what, that was his story, right? So, yeah. What, uh, well, John, you and I know it all started with storage anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Th those uh, paradigm shifts are the ones that transform everything. Yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah. so so they did the Equalogic acquisition, which was a huge acquisition for Dell at the time. Mm. Then they did a couple of smaller acquisitions um, uh, w w with Axnet and 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 uh, and Ocarina. Mm -hmm. But then they made another big acquisition here. Yes. Yeah. So, what was your reaction when they bought Compellent? So honestly, what was your reaction when they bought Compellent? And because you made a big bet in a different platform, and and, yes. and Compellent was around at the same time. That you were making the decision, I'm buying Equalogic. Well, uh, let me tell you this: if Companion was bought before I make uh, the last uh, acquisition, I certainly think twice. Uh, okay. Because uh, the timing wasn't the the right for Dell or for us. I don't know. Uh, uh, but particularly with this learning that I am uh, grasping here, make me think twice. Uh, what I bought. So there's this uh, uh, this saying that is he? How is it? Is he migrate to Compellent? Okay. <laughs> are you going to migrate to Compellent, or are you going to stay on Equal well, I'm learning. I'm learning. You're that. learning a lot. Actually, okay. actually, this paradigm shift, shift that is being doing here. Mm -hmm. uh, I was telling my re uh, the rep that even. And let me think about what I'm doing with uh, the backups, mm -hmm. the backups, the uh, the uh, the information how it lives in the in the storage. 
different things are, are come to my mind. Okay. What are you doing with backups? We we use uh, regular traditional backups. To tape or? To tape and uh, before to tape, but now we're doing. Uh, you doing disk to disk to tape? This this uh, disk to disk. We are deduping with uh, our semantic, okay. uh, which is a great solution for us. We back up from different uh, locations. Our hotels are in different parts. So it's software-based dedupe. Yeah. Uh, correct, that's correct. That's correct. And it's working, it's working now. Uh, yeah. And you dedupe it before you replicate it to a site. You have two sites, multiple sites? We have three sites. Three we are sites. not replicating between them okay. yet. Okay. Uh, but with compelling, Everything seems to be. You might be able to uh, replicate using easy. compellent. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, with it's compellent, everything's easy. That says well, it all. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's it. it's yeah. uh, too good to be true. Yeah. yeah. I need to uh, taste it. Interesting. So now you were talking earlier about virtualization, server virtualization. Yes. Yeah. What are you doing there? Well, you kick us through, paint the picture for us of uh, what you have installed. And okay. Uh, I need to tell you about the consolidation before. Uh, yeah. uh, I faced the challenge of uh, having a uh, legacy data center uh, nine years ago when I uh, got into this company. And this uh, project it becomes uh, a, cha a big challenge for me and for the company to have new infrastructure, uh, consolidated space uh, from tower uh, servers to rack servers, applications. Excuse me, but now we are moving since four years ago to the virtualization. So we use Beamware, our, our, is, uh, our solution, and we actually uh, also uh, break some paradigms, break some okay. some uh, uh, expectations from the uh, vendor also, because they, they were so conservative. You cannot. Uh, put more uh, uh, virtual machines than these ones. And oh, we got to hook him up with a guy from Indiana University who likes to run beta stuff on uh, <laughs> beta versions of code. <laughs> yeah. There's a, I find this is true with, with people in, you know, whether it's in a, I don't know, maybe they, they like to have their hands on stuff or they want to test the limits, test the edges, because they're under some constraints and, 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 and they want to, yeah. and you know, so let, let's test the edge. You say I can only do 10, but I am going to do 12 or No, 15, actually, uh, or see, 20. And, what? And uh, <laughs> we have now like uh, almost 300 uh, virtual machines. On how many physical? In four many physical. Four wow. physical servers. Four, you have 300 virtual machines on four physical servers yeah. with uh, eight core? <laughs> no, what, no. Those what, are, uh, I think uh, are eight cores. Quad core and okay. dual core. So, and okay, we so run their so critical missions. Wow. Revenue. Okay, so, we, revenue so, producing so what percent, yes. Yes. What yes. percent yes. of your applications are uh, uh, virtualized? 60%. 60? And, and from the whole infrastructure of the main data center is uh, 75%. What's your main database? Is it SQL Server or Oracle? Oracle. 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 So you're virtualizing Oracle? Not yet, not all. Uh. Not, not the main database, but we're we're doing something. Are you going to? Yeah, yeah. What do you? It works. How, what's your it works. feeling? In our proof of concepts, it works. We know it works. We and know because uh, we have a lot of practitioners in the wiki. All, all the applications, so. having the right people, the right decisions, doing, uh, making the right decisions. Is it? But Oracle is working. not so friendly toward VMware in right. terms of supporting. And I'll use that term loosely. Certainly, they won't certify. Mm -hmm. right, they're they're a certified of, it'll work. A, a right. lot of clients will say, unless you pay right? them. Is that right? Okay. They okay. will pay, if the pharmaceutical industry, for instance, they'll certify, but mm -hmm. you got to pay them a lot of dough. So, mm -hmm. otherwise, if you don't use Oracle VM, they won't certify it, and they will support it, but they'll drag their feet in if you have a problem, and I don't blame them, actually. They'll say, you have to go to physical. Huh. Right? Yeah. Okay. And you say, and so you say, some and the time, the time will talk. So some some customers would say, well, then forget it. I'm not going to do it. Others would like say, you. damn the torpedoes. And I think the majority are going to say, you know what? The benefits of virtualizing Oracle outweigh is outstanding. The issues. Yep. Okay. And that's so you. you see going in that direction, no question. Yeah, we're going there. We are early adopters of technology like uh, virtualization. We are now in the, in the engagement of virtualized storage 
and uh, we virtualize Active Directory Exchange. We virtualize our web logics, our open source technologies. So, are you a big user? You are you a big uh, user of Linux as well? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. we have our <laughs> um, critical mission comes to almost seventy percent of those of your critical applications. Yeah, are in Linux. Are in Linux. Okay, and are virtualized. So. Yeah, yeah, your Oracle stuff's running on Linux, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, okay. What about uh, you mentioned a lot of data coming mm -hmm. in? Are you there's a big a lot of buzz around big data and and what are you doing for enterprise analytics, enterprise data warehouse? What uh, what do you do there? We have uh, different uh, solutions from Kulik View, for instance, B, uh, for B. Uh, we have uh, uh, there's another. Uh, uh, solutions I, I cannot remember. Is that not infrastructure that you support, or? Yes, yes. Uh, okay. But the, the name of the solution, uh, I, 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 it goes. To but my you've mind. got a data warehouse, obviously, yes. and, mm -hmm. and and that runs on Equalogic as well. Yeah, some of them, and also in the EMCs that we have. Yeah. Okay. For, which was de from Dell. Yeah. Yeah. You bought from Dell before. Yeah. 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 yeah Dell has been with us. Yeah. Eight eight years. So you so you're you're a mix shop EMC. Um, equal logic. Uh, what did you think about? So obviously, I described it. Phil, uh, Darren Thomas was on before. I said it's like it's like your first love, you know, EMC <laughs> and Dell, and your great girlfriend. <laughs> you remember forever. But you know, time came that they had to go in different direction. And Darren said, "Yeah, that's true." But the customers, you know, both our companies, and I believe it because EMC is maniacally focused on the customer, and Dell as well. Uh, they'll take care of the customer. Yes. Um, but are you nervous about that at all? No, no, no. I think uh, as long as we have the uh, the right people doing the right decisions, making the right decisions, it will work. It will work. Now it's working fine. I think we we need to improve. Everything can be improved. So I had a question for you. We like to get to the practitioner, right? Because they they can give us the the, <laughs> the the truth, cut through the marketing, right? So every vendor says, oh, we, we our products are the best, and our products are." You know, different from is. Is there really that much difference between, say, for example, the the EMC products and the Equalogic products? At the end, they they do the same, but I, I want my weekends. I want my weekends. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I don't want to worry about uh, outages. Yeah. I, I don't want to worry of uh, uh, out of control. That a backup cannot be restored. Okay. So we need to. to so go. who gives you your weekends back? Well, Dale. Dale does. With okay. all the, the solutions. With all, okay. Mm -hmm. That we have. Dale gives me my weekends back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good for, for uh, 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 book, a title for a book. Or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about uh, desktop virtualization? You yeah. Oh, yeah. This is another. Eh. That's another It's a great good topic, point. right? Yes. Why does it even call it desktop that, virtualization? That topic is, uh, actually, last week we were talking about, with Dell, with the solution that they have, they, they have uh, uh, and, uh, leading us to a proof of concept of uh, uh, the VDI. We, we, we came from the, uh, the success of uh, our data center, the virtual data center yeah. Yeah. has been uh, very good. We have a, uh, let, let me tell you, the ROI of this virtualization is 1,300%. Mm. So we want to do that in the desktop. Also. But you haven't done it yet? Not yet. Not yet. Because the, the solution we we are asking for is very specific. It's a uh, voice over IP. Uh, they have different protocols. They have PC over IP. They have uh, uh, working on that, uh, different uh, VMware, Citrix, and... Uh, other vendors, but they 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 are working on, on our solution. So you haven't determined which direction you're going to go yet. No VMware, yet, no yet. But uh, Horizon uh, Citrix. Mm -hmm. So you know, a lot of people look at their server virtualization and say, "Oh, well, I'm using let's say VMware, so mm -hmm. I will use them for my desktop virtualization." But it, they're different worlds, aren't they? Yes, yes. Uh, you can do with VMware. You can do both, but uh, for us. We need to make the right decision, mm -hmm. uh, bringing not only the PC over the the network but also the voice. 
So how about yeah. mobile? Yeah. All the mobile ones has uh, some other sort of. In the, yeah. Uh, so let's yeah. talk about the, the mobile store. How's that affecting your business? Uh, our sales force are on the field. If they have their device, whatever device, uh, they can do their job. They can sell more. So we we're going in that path. Mm. So does that Definitely. mean that? What, what, uh, you, does that mean you lose your weekends trying to secure all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, well, I'm curious because because you're obviously getting great support from Dell. Mm-hmm. Dell is moving, has been in the, the desktop laptop business. Yeah. It's moving into the the there's the Dell Streak Seven Android tablet. Uh, mm-hmm. Are you looking at those kinds of technologies, or or do you think are you going Our corporate smartphones or well, yeah, but our, our uh, the policies of our corporate uh, is is uh, strict. Uh, we have uh, standardization on on, mo- on mobile devices. We are okay. not uh, uh, jumping yet to the different uh, infrastructure. So, what do you guys use for a mobile device? Blackberry. Is the black? You're still on Blackberry. Yeah, iPhones. Yeah. You got so a standard, but it's flexible. So the answer yeah. to your question was yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you you support both. What what about Android? What are your thoughts about Android? It's not uh, it's not yet uh, into the market uh, a lot with us. In okay, Mexico. yeah. In Mexico, yeah. Okay, because every market's different, right? And yeah. People, a lot of times, people in the United States forget that that uh, you know, technologies are adopted both yeah, at different is, at different rates, and in some countries it takes off faster, and then it does yeah. in the U.S. and is the adoption. Is uh, we are in a global world, so it's adoption. It's time of. Uh, it's a matter of time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all, Jose. All this time, Jose. I'm sorry we have to let you go. Uh, uh, we've got another guest on, but uh, thank you very much for coming thank to the show and sharing your great story with us. Thank it's you a very pleasure much. meeting you. Great thank to you. great to meet you.